just love books. They tell us about all sorts of things. Like here's one on bird watching. Oh, it makes me just want to grab my binoculars and put on my scarf and go outside and start looking for bluebirds. Or there's books about faraway places. Like here's one about Africa and Tibet and Paris, France. Parlez-vous français, Monsieur Dido? What did she say? I said, do you speak French, Mr. Dido? Oui, oui. No, no. But do you have any books about shapes on that shelf? Why that? Don't you remember? We're going to be on the Name That Shape show. And I've got to guess shapes. Oh, that's right. Now I remember. And I'm so worried. I don't think I know my shapes very well. Well, I'll help you. You will? Sure, that's what friends are for. And books can help, too. How? Well, I seem to remember that there's a book about all sorts of shapes. But in the meantime, while I'm looking for that book, our storyteller, Suzanne McMillan, she's going to read us a story about a shape. Which one? The circle. Good morning. My name is Suzanne. I work at the Public Library, and I came to share a story with you this morning. Anybody here ready to let's do a story? You ready? Okay. Let's let our hands go. Clap, clap, clap. Let your fingers tap, tap, tap. Now fold your hands so quietly. Now roll your hands so wide awake. Let your fingers shake, shake, shake. Now climb the ladder. Do not fall till you make a steeple call. Now fold your hands so quietly. Be as quiet as quiet can be. Our story this morning is about a boy named Spence, and he's using scissors and glue. Did you ever use scissors and glue? Cut with scissors and glue with glue. Sometimes it makes a mess. And that's what happens to Spence. And this story is called Spence Makes Circles. Now, this boy here, Spence, he had two pieces of paper, a pencil, crayons, scissors, and a pot of glue. Spence took the pencil and he drew a circle on each one of his pieces of paper. He took some crayons and he filled in the circles with all different colors. What are you doing? asked Spence's mother. I'm making circles, said Spence. Oh, said his mother. I like circles. Can I help you? No, said Spence. I can do it myself. So Spence took the scissors and he cut the colored circles out of the paper. Then he gobbed some glue on top of one circle and he laid the other circle on top of the glue. Spence took both of his hands and he banged them on top of the circle. Squish the glue. Squished out from between the circles all over Spence's fingers. Spence was surprised. He reached up and he scratched his head. The glue from his fingers stuck to his hair. Spence took the leftover paper and he tried to wipe the glue out of his hair and the paper stuck to his hair. Spence was very surprised. Spence took the scissors and he cut the paper out of his hair, but some of his hair fell in the pot of glue. Spence, he reached into the glue pot and he fished out his hair. The hair stuck to his fingers. Mmm, said Spence. He couldn't have been any more surprised. Look at Spence's hair. Does it look good? No. No, not too good. Just then, Spence's nose itched. So he scratched his nose. The hair from his fingers stuck to his nose. Look at him now. Just like he 
he has a mustache, huh? Oh, dear, said Spence's mother. She was surprised when she saw Spence, too. She went and got a mirror, and she held it up right in front of Spence's face. Spence looked in the mirror. He saw the hair that was stuck to his nose and looked like a mustache. He saw the bristles and the glue on top of his head where he had cut the paper out of his hair. Does he look as good as he did when he started? Spence looked at his mother. He wondered if she was angry. Just think, said his mother. You did it all by yourself. Then she rubbed the funny-looking bristles on the top of Spence's head, and she laughed out loud. Then Spence was happy to see that his mother wasn't angry. He took a look in the mirror, and then he started laughing, too. And then Spence's mother said to Spence, You know, glue is tricky. Very tricky, said Spence. Then Spence's mother took him by the hand and took Spence into the bathroom and helped him clean up. She was a nice mother, huh? She didn't get mad. Now, Spence, what, what, what kind of a shape was he making on the paper? He was making circles. Can you think of other kinds of shapes? What other kinds of shapes are there? Triangles. Triangles. That's good. And what other kinds? Rectangles. Rectangles. Ooh, that's really good. Squares. Squares. Let's draw a circle. We're going to, ooh, hexagons, wow. We're going to draw a circle, draw a circle, draw a circle, just for me. Draw a circle, draw a circle, as round as it can be. Let's draw a square, draw a square, with corners, four. Draw a square, draw a square, it's shaped like a door. And what's this shape? That one. You know what that one is? It's a triangle. Draw a triangle, draw a triangle with corners three. Draw a triangle, draw a triangle just for you and me. I cut, I cut some shapes out of some pieces of felt. And I want us to look at these shapes and see what they are. You see if you can tell me what they are. Okay, what kind of a shape is this? Triangle. This one's a rectangle. This one's a rectangle. That's close, kind of like a square. This one is a, what's that one? This one's a square. Now this one, what kind of a shape is that? A zigzag. This one has a zigzag shape. Triangle. We're going to get a triangle. What about this one? Circle. A circle. That one is, circles are what? Circles are round. Circles are round. What about this one? What's that? That's a circle. What about this one? You know what shape that is? That's an oval, Chad. Isn't that an oval? That's an oval shaped. A little circle. A little circle. What's this shape? A star. A star. That's right. Star. This one's a star. You know what this one is? This is the one you were telling me about before. That one's a triangle. triangle. A triangle. And what about this one? This one is called a moon. It looks like a moon. You know what shape it's called? It's called a crescent. Called a crescent shape. And this little tiny one here, this one is called a spiral. Now, when I put these shapes back on the board, we're going to see if we can make something with these. I want you to tell me what the shape is called when I put it back on the board. Okay, we'll do this one first. This one is square. a square. Okay, and on top of this square, we're going to put a triangle. A triangle. And now, next to it, we're going to put this zigzag shape. Hmm. What about this one? What's this kind of shape? That's another... Triangle. No, it's a... Rectangle. Rectangle, right. That's a rectangle. And on top of the rectangle, we'll put a... What's this one? A tree. It is a tree, but what's this shape? Circle. Circle, that's right. That's a circle. And what about this one right here? Oval. Oval. You are really good at shapes. Oval. What about... That's a door. This one's a door, but what shape is that? Is it a rectangle? Yes. It's a rectangle. What about this one? 
this one? Square. Square. A window. What about this little one? What is it? What's this? What shape is this? A box. A circle. Round. A circle. Another circle. We'll put this other circle right here. What's this one? We'll put the. What's that one called? What was that shape called? It's called a crescent. We'll put the star up here. We'll put that. Remember that funny little shape? The spiral. So we've got all our shapes. It's a snail. It's a snail. And all we need is one more thing to make our picture. How about a duck? A duck. You were really good at those shapes. Do you know a song about monkeys? Yeah. Monkeys on the bed? We've got five monkeys here. Chad, we're going to sing the song about monkeys on the bed. We've got five little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more jumping on the bed. Four little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more jumping on the bed. Three little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more jumping on the bed. How many left? Two. Two little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more jumping on the bed. One little monkey jumping on the bed. He fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more jumping on the bed. You know, at the end of our story time, we usually get inside of our rocket ship. Did you bring your rocket ship with you? I knew you did. I knew you did. Everybody has a rocket ship. Let's all stand up. I don't. Yeah, you do. Right here. We've got inside of our rocket ship. We've got just enough room. We're ready for blast off. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Blast off. And you want to turn around and wave? Thanks for being such a good listener. Circle. Yes, Dito, that's a circle. And look, I found that book I was looking for. What is it? It's called Shapes Around Town. Oh, Koshka, I'm so nervous. There's so much to learn. It's okay, Dito. We'll take the shapes one by one, and soon you'll know them all. Really? Sure, it just takes practice. But first you have to relax. It doesn't help to be nervous. Okay, but how do I relax? Well, take a deep breath. In, out, in, out. Now are you ready to take a look at shapes around town? Okay. If I were a shape, oh, where would I be? All over the town, can't you see? I'm here, I'm there, I'm everywhere. Now down the road we travel, zoom, round and round and round we move. I see a rectangle wherever I go, doors all standing in a row, triangles angling side by side. One, two, three. Remember to look next time you are out, and then you'll become a super-shaped scout. The end. No, I see one more shape. Where? The stars on your ears. Oh, pretty smart. Oh, but Dito, it's time for us to go to the Name That Shape Show. Are you ready? Yep. I'm going to take a deep breath and do the best I can. And that's good enough for me. Okay, let's go. Welcome to Name That Shape. Join us. Put on your thinking cap. And with our first contestant, Dido the Dragon, name that shape. How are you today, Dido? Oh, I'm fine. I've been practicing all day, and I think I'm ready. Well, then we will place this blindfold over your eyes so you can't see. There you go. Now I will tell you the rules of the game. There will be five mystery shapes. You may ask each shape three questions. If you guess all five shapes, you win. Where am I? Who turned the lights out? I'm only kidding. Well then, let's...
let's get on with the game. Will our first mystery shape please sign in? Well, you're a very lovely red today. Well, thank you. Well, Dito, you may ask your first question. Would you please describe your shape? Oh, that's easy. Let's see, I'm one long line that goes all the way around one and never stops. line that goes all the way around. Okay, okay. Where can I find you? Oh, let's see. Donuts. They're my shape. Did you ever eat a donut? And, and the plate you put a donut on, that's my shape too. And let's see. Sports, basketballs, baseballs, oh, hockey pucks, they're all my shape. Hmm. How do you get around? Everywhere I go, I roll. You roll? You I just roll, roll, that's right. Everywhere. Oh, oh, I think I guessed it. You're a circle. Da, 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 da. Very good, Dito. Now will our next mystery shape please sign in? I see you're wearing blue today. Okay, Dido, we are ready for the first question. How many sides do you have? Well, technically speaking, I have four sides, Dito. One on the top, one here, and on the bottom, and up this side. I also have four corners. Four corners, four sides. Hmm. Where can we find you? Oh, good question. I'm a very common shape. Just look around you, and you'll find me. For example, a sandwich, a piece of bread, that's my shape. Very often, a television screen will be my shape. You'll find me all over a checkerboard and a Rubik's Cube. What do you want to be when you grow up? Oh, well, my mother wants me to be a mathematician, but I want to be a dancer. A dancer? Mm -hmm. I'll jump up and never come down. Swing that pretty girl round and round with an element. Oh, the old window. Come a back dancer? And swing your old... I know. It's a square. Oh, Your first 
question, please? Oh, would you please describe your shape? Yes. I have many points sticking out of me. Today I have five. Sometimes I have six. Where can I find you? Well, you can find me in the sky at night. Or you can find my shape in the corner of the American flag. Or if you do a good job on your paper at school, your teacher will put my shape in the corner at the top. Oh, up in the sky? On your school paper? Oh, Kashka, this is a hard one. Well, think hard now. I think we should give him one more clue. All right. Perhaps you recognize this popular tune. Listen carefully. <clears throat> twinkle, twinkle, little star. I guessed it. Yes, he does. You won the grand prize. You won your very own book of shapes and a trip to the library. Now let's bring on those shapes to congratulate you for a job well done. Congratulations, Dito, for a job well done. Oh, Koshka, that was so exciting. And you know what? I think I've learned my shape. And I'm proud of you. And you know, this little circle on my wrist tells me that it's time for us to go. So let's say goodbye to our friends. Bye bye. Oh, bye bye. Or au revoir. <laughs> let's sing that song that we sang at the game show. Okay. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high. Like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I wonder what you are. Oh, I like the donut best of all. Oh, and you did a good job. Oh, you did yes. them all. There was the circle, and there were donuts. Uh -huh. What other circles were there? Balls? I forget. Oh, balls, and frisbees, and wheels on a car. And then there were rectangles. Those were pretty yeah. easy. You got that just like that. Doors. And beds, you, if you were to pick a bed up right, it'd, it'd be a rectangle. Mm -hmm. And what else was a rectangle that was... Swimming pools look like rectangles Women sometimes. Swimming pools. Yeah, and what else? Then there was, there was a Square. triangle. Yeah. Triangle was hard. But then they gave you that clue about the Christmas tree. Oh, yeah. And that looked like it, huh? Rectangle, and you know, sailboats, sort of their sails look like rectangles. The triangles, yeah. Mm -hmm. Boy, see how good you are? Clipper ships look like rectangles. They do, sort of. And then what's the other thing? Yeah, like that, you know.